Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, we're going to be going up against the Meguiar's Hyperdressing versus Chemical Guys Tire Kicker. Now, I applied the first coat on here of the Chemical Guys Tire Kicker. For some reason, and my camera stopped. So, we're going to go ahead and apply the first coat of the Meguiar's Hyperdressing because I got cut off. As you can see, there's the Chemical Guys Tire Kicker. Already applied to this side. Perfectly clean tire. We left all the blank. We're going to leave a blank up in here. So you guys can see a difference. That's the tire kicker by Chemical Guys. Already applied the first coat. Like I said, my camel stopped for some crazy reason. But anyway, let's go ahead on and apply the Meguiar's. Now, if y'all interested in these products, you can get the Chemical Guys tire kicker from Walmart for 8 bucks. You can get the Meguiar's from Advanced Auto Parts for 20 bucks. And plus, you can order it offline by a gallon, I think. You can get a gallon for like $40. All right, so let's go and apply the Meguiar's Hyperdressing. Like I said, I'm going to leave a little blank up in there so you guys can see where we're at. And this is on a 2020 Jeep Cherokee tire. Okay. These new trucks come with some big rims on them, kind of, as you can see. All right, it's a hyper dress and look pretty good up there. All right. I tell you what, though. That chemical guy's tire kicker ain't no joke, man. Y'all about to believe it or not. All right. And it's only $8 at Walmart. So this is what we get with the hyper dressing. To this side by Meguiar's. And here's the Chemical Guys Tire Kicker. Now, I only like to go two coats of these. Because I don't want to be getting it up there too heavy and all that stuff. So, I perfectly cleaned the tire. So, like I said, I'm just going to go two coats. Alright. Then I'm just going to let it ride out. Now, I'm letting it kind of work in there now. I'm letting it sit. I'm just trying to see which one of these capable of getting the most gloss and pop to your tires, being that they're both water-based dressings. So, that's what I'm trying to get. And I know a lot of people like water-based dressings because they're easy to clean up. And I find that they last just as long as solvent-based dressings. You know? So, uh, that's how I view with that. And people tell you, oh, the silicone base lasts longer, but I don't. I find that when it rains hard enough, all of it washes away. That's that's what just way I get it. All right, so let's take a look. That's the gloss on the Chemical Guys Tire Kicker to the right of me. Okay, blank in the middle here. Here's the Meguiar's Hyper Dress. Now both of them looking about equal. I'm going to apply the second coat. Here's the Chemical Guys Tire Kicker. There we go. This is second and final, final coat. I don't like to run too many coats on. I just like to see, because most people, well, the average that you'll put on is maybe two coats. You know, you wouldn't go no more than two coats. I wouldn't, anyway. Okay. Okay. That's the second coat of the Chemical Guys Tire Kicker. So now let's move over here to the Meguiar's Hyper Dressing. I'll spray that on the applicator. Okay, it doesn't take much. And now we can see which one of them is actually giving us the most shine and pop on the second and final coat. All right, it could be equal, it could be about the same for us pop. Who knows yet? It's possible that they are the same. Both of them are water-based. And I find that water-based dressings allow you easy cleanup. And that's a good thing. Okay. All right. Okay, well now, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let those two, let it kind of penetrate down into the tire. And I'm just going to talk to you guys about these products. Now, if you're on a budget and you only have, let's say you got a certain amount of dollars, bills due, you house payment, five, six hundred dollars a month, 
You got a highlight bill, two, three hundred, trying to stay warm during these winter months. You can easily, your bills can easily be over a thousand dollars a month. All right, so that case, you're gonna want to go if you're on a budget. I would say you're gonna have to want to go with the Chemical Guys Tire Kicker Tire Shine for its price. Always take price in consideration. Remember, this is a 16 ounce versus a 32 ounce, but the Meguiar's 32 ounce cost you $20 versus this is like $8. So basically you get two of these for $16. All right. So pretty much average out the chemical guys tie kicker is cheaper. All right. Now, if you just don't care and you want to go with the hyper dress and buy Meguiar's, then this is going to run you like $20 at advanced auto parts. Plus you can get this like $40 for a gallon. So it depends on which way you want to go. And on that behalf, it depends on whether you got four, three or four cars that you clean up. You could have multiple cars, then it's probably just easy for you to go with the Meguiar's Hyper Dressing by the gallon. All right, that being said, I just try to give you guys the best value for your money by talking about those two products. All right, now moving on. Now we're going to compare the shine and the gloss of these two products. If you must, must, you must, you must, if you must. A big fan of water-based dressings. I'm pretty sure you guys gonna want to know which one of these give you the best pop, shine, and gloss. You know, so blank in the middle as you can see, nothing's been there. Here's the Chemical Guys tire kicker. It actually had time to kind of work back on the tires. I let the little sun get to it while I was talking, so we can see which one of them give you the most shine and pop to your tires. Uh, I like these tie shine comparisons because I can really see which one of them give me the most benefits. All right, this side, here we go with the Meguiar's Hyper Dressing. And it don't take but just a little portion of the tire to really see which one will give you the most pop and shine to your tires. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to cut it to the closest angle. Here's the Hyper Dressing by Meguiar's. I'm very close in here. Okay, I'm gonna spin around this way. Here's the Chemical Guys Tie Kicker. Now, from what I'm seeing, the results between the two tie shines for its gloss, pop, and shine is very similar. All right, it's kind of hard to call because both of them give about the same amount of shine to your tires. So, that reflects back, being that both of them shine almost similar. As you can see, this is on the 2020 Jeep Cherokee, if those of you were wondering. Here's the 220 Cherokee that we actually doing the comparison on right here. So since they both doing a good job at shining gloss on the tires, now this reflects back to price. As you can see again, one look good as the other. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Now, it boils down, in my opinion, price. One is just as gloss as the other. So, that being said, guys, I would say go with the price. One giving just as much shine as the other. And that's just the way it is. So, anyway... We're going to compare more tie shines. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Share my videos out with your family and friends. And until next time, I'm going to hit you guys on the next video. One is just as glossy as the other in this case here. I'm out. Peace.